Fellas Headline Country continues from the set of this year's CMA Country Christmas television special. We're going to take a look at yet another recent award ceremony. This time it's the Academy of Country Music handing out the hardware at their seventh annual ACM Honors Gala. Our special correspondent Ashley Eicher was there and has all of the details of the big night for stars like Jason Aldean, Blake Shelton, and Lady A. Music City came together tonight to celebrate some very special honorees from this year's Academy of Country Music Awards. The seventh annual ACM Honors held right here at the Ryman Auditorium recognize artists, songwriters, and musicians who've made a significant contribution to country music and paid tribute to some of the most influential artists of our time. Yeah, we Second okay. year, they asked you back. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. I mean, uh, it's such a cool show, uh, honoring so many great people, not just the new people like Aldean or Blake Shelton, but also you know songwriters and studio musicians and people who usually get left out of the t televised award show. Special awards were given to Lady Antebellum and Blake Shelton for their unprecedented success and for taking country music to new audiences around the world. It's kind of amazing how a couple songs can really take you to that spot, you know, where, where you're uh, performing in front of people that completely talk a different language. And that was the funniest thing about it, was to watch them try to sing the words. <laughs> um, but everywhere we went, they were like, please tell your friends, please tell Luke, please tell, you know, they're like, Blake Shelton, he's our favorite. Blake Shelton. I had one dream. I was completely obsessed with country music. And it, you imagine at that time, 19, early 1990s, I mean, there's Paul Ed. I'm looking at all these people. Wynonna's sitting behind me. Steve Warner's up here. Vince is here. I, I just wanted to be, all I cared about, all I dreamed about, thought about, I didn't even know what the job even paid. I just wanted to be one of them. Jason Aldean picked up the Crystal Milestone Award, recognizing the star's massive touring success. <laughs> When you're selling at about 24,000 tickets in one venue in two minutes, it's not too bad. No, it's uh, <laughs> it's been good. It's been good, you know. Sometimes it seems like yesterday we were playing little clubs and trying to sell 500 tickets in a little club somewhere. So, you know, to walk out now and, and be able to go and, and play stadiums and, and uh, do things on, on a big scale like we, we have been able to do, I mean, it's... Uh, it's, it kind of makes you step back and just uh, say some prayers and be very thankful. Pioneers of country music from Keith Whitley and the Judds to George Jones and Hank Williams were also honored. He's what type of influence did George have on you? He's just a legend. So it's, um, I was really glad they, they picked me to do this tonight. You heard I'm drinking more than I should and I ain't been looking all that I think Keith would be absolutely blown away. He would be so shocked that he would be getting this award. And um, he is an inspiration to so many young artists. I've got one of Keith Whitley's guitars. I uh, wrote some of the stuff on the new record with that guitar. So it's pretty, there's some magic left in it. It's pretty cool. Obviously being reigning ACM Vocal Duo of the Year, it is quite fitting that you're paying tribute to the Judds tonight. Well, I grew up listening to the Judds as a little girl and um, really learned how to sing harmony from listening to them, just their cassette over and over and over again. 24 awards were handed out during the night, but it was the evening's multiple musical tributes that stole the show. What probably is the most influential song from you from the Judds catalog? I uh, love Camilla Bridge. It's such an amazing piece and it just, it crosses all boundaries of genre music. I mean, it's just a great song. It's one of those songs that will be around forever. Don't you think it's when we come back, we'll catch up with newcomer Brandy Clark. This week, following in the footsteps of six-time CMA nominee Casey Musgraves, country is embracing another quirky singer-songwriter, Washington State native Brandi Clark. In fact, Brandi and Casey helped co-write Miranda Lambert's number one hit, Mama's Broken Heart. And now Brandi is releasing her own collection of tunes titled 12 Stories. 
featuring her debut single, Stripes. But this ain't my mama's broken heart. As one of the songwriters behind Miranda Lambert's mega hit, Mama's Broken Heart, as well as the band Perry's number one smash, Better Dig 2, Brandi Clark is finally ready to step out from behind the song and into the spotlight with her own debut album, 12 stories. We made the record in probably six months, so that's been done for two years, and just finding a home for it. That's That was the longer process in this. Whoa. Whoa. It doesn't matter if I live to be a hundred, those six months I will always look back on as some of the best. You were lying there with nothing on but a goofy little grin and a platinum blonde. I Mama's Broken Heart was written in that period of time. It was such a great creative space. I'm now just looking back on and thinking, wow, I wrote that then, I wrote this then. Songs that I can't wait to put on another record were written during that time. I hate stripes, and orange ain't my color. And if I squeeze that trigger tonight, I'll be wearing one or the other. After earning her stripes as a dedicated tunesmith, the 36-year-old can claim writer credits to all 12 of the project's stories, including the album's lead-off single, Brandy's modern take on an all-too-familiar tale. God knows I wouldn't be caught holding up a number while the whole town's staring at the picture in the paper of me wearing stripes. I love stripes because it's a fantasy, and it's just fun in the middle of a record that has a lot of really heavy topics. Stripes is kind of a little bit of fun. Ain't no genie in it. Ain't no bottle so we pray to Jesus and we play the lot of Most of the songs on that, right, on this 12 Stories record, I wrote entertaining myself. At that point, I wasn't writing for myself, so to speak, but, I, but as a result, I kind of was. Like, it was just a great, there was this group of songs that really just fit me. Equally as fitting, her CMA Song of the Year nomination for Mama's Broken Heart. But this ain't my mama's broken heart. I'm a storyteller, like I said, and I'm a truth teller. Not just the pretty truths. I mean, just the, the real, real truth. I'm not judgmental about it. I'm just observing it. I hope that, and I'm right in the middle of it too. I mean, I've felt all those things and and I think that's why they're believable with me singing them because I've been I've been those characters. Brandy's album 12 Stories is available now. Well, that's it for this week from the set of this year's CMA Country Christmas. Happy holidays. You can tune in December 2nd at 9 p.m. Eastern on ABC if you really want to get into the spirit of the season. Take care, everybody. You too and to tell you the truth. That wasn't my chair after all Oh, I like you too And to tell you the truth That wasn't my chair after all